These are human brain organoids, and they just got a lot more human-like. They're grown from human cells to study how the brain develops. The closer you make them to a real brain, the better you can model brain disorders. But so far, these organoids have not only been tiny and missing key features of brain organization, they also grow a bunch of these structures called neural rosettes, which you don't see in normal healthy brains. Growing these radial structures is an impressive display of self-organization. But in a developing human, the biochemical environment would guide these cells into forming a neural tube. In a lab environment, these structures form haphazardly, which makes it harder to predict what they'll look like and replicate the research. Scientists have tried a lot of techniques for growing brain-like organoids, spinning bioreactors with different recipes for specific brain regions, putting different kinds of organoids together into assembloids, or letting them grow inside animals. A new study in Nature Communications took a big step towards more human-like organoids by mimicking the gradual changes in cell signaling that guide early brain development. They're called morphogen gradients. In a developing brain, the production of certain signaling molecules is slowly reduced over time, including proteins called transforming growth factors. TGF-beta guides the formation of the neural tube and helps determine what a stem cell will turn into. But in the lab, most organoid recipes abruptly shut off the supply of TGF-beta, which might cause these groups of cells to curl up into rosettes instead of blooming into neural tubes. So in this study, as the stem cells grew into neurons, the researchers gradually reduced the amount of TGF-beta, and it influenced their development, majorly. It turned these garlic-looking rosettes into one long, flowy neuroepithelium. They call them expanded neuroepithelium organoids, or ENOs. The neuroepithelium is known to differ between humans and non-human primates, so this technique could help capture the unique features of human brain tissue. These ENOs were closer to human brain development in other ways too, like their cellular structure. So they might be really useful for modeling brain development and disorders, and understanding the role of signaling proteins like TGF-beta. The researchers say ENOs could be a platform for modeling specific parts of the brain and more advanced stages of brain development. If you need more human brain in your life, check out our sponsor, Dr. Greg Dunn's NeuroArt. Get the Brainbow Hippocampus and other works at gregadunn.com. Use the code BRAIN for 10% off and tell them you came from I'm Curious. Link in description. Subscribe to I'm Curious for more sci-fi science news and go to patreon.com slash IHMCurious. Thanks for watching.